Back to the earliest days of the pandemic, and you'll remember the desperate hunt for personal protective equipment, PPE, Canada's supply of surgical masks, other masks, face shields, gloves. It was all stretched to the limit. Well, CBC News is now learning that federal political staffers at the time question how to handle a donation of N95 masks for Canadian veterans of the Korean War. John Paul Tasker has that story this morning. In the throes of the first wave of this pandemic, South Korea wanted to help Canadians grappling with the shortage of personal protective equipment. The country planned to send some 35,000 masks to service men and women who fought in the Korean War. At an average age of 88, the South Korean government said it wanted to protect these war heroes. But Ottawa was concerned accepting such a donation would shine a negative light on the country's limited PPE supply. According to documents tabled at the House of Commons Health Committee, the Prime Minister's then Director of Issues Management said she was reluctant to accept the donation. I worry about the optics around the Government of Canada facilitating the distribution of N95s in settings where they are not recommended for use when doctors are pulling all the stops to stretch the existing supply that they have. She called off a news release about the donation not wanting to draw attention to the diplomatic gesture. I submit for your consideration that some low-key social media expressing Canada's thanks would invite fewer questions. Another staffer suggested these masks could be redeployed to other healthcare settings. The Conservative critic for Veterans Affairs says that this issue speaks to just how ill-prepared Canada was for a pandemic like COVID-19. What it does say to me is how miserable, how unprepared, miserably unprepared, the Canadian government was in terms of PPE and providing PPE to frontline healthcare workers, including doctors, that they would even consider confiscating uh, N95 masks that were given as a gift from the South Korean government to Canadian elderly Korean veterans. A spokesperson for Veterans Affairs, Minister Lawrence McCauley, tells CBC News that the masks eventually made it to the country's 5,800 surviving Korean War veterans, and they never intended to downplay the donation. John Paul Tasker, CBC News, Ottawa.